Hi guys, this is Sushant Kocha, and today we are going to talk about is BMI a good measure uh, to check if your body has right fat levels. Um, so, uh, this in this video, I'm not going to be saying that no BMI is a really bad measure or something like that. I'm going to be uh, telling you a way which can be better in um, some scenarios. So, for um, so BMI is okay uh, if it is used for uh, really obese pe people it will tell them oh you are really obese you need to lose weight otherwise you will get diseases or you will die from diseases it is okay to tell an obese person that you are obese but when uh, the uh, but for people who are not so obese who do not have so much fat um, it does not tell much uh, precisely it does not tell uh, quite precisely so uh, why and how so why see um, if there is an 80 kgs guy um, and his BMI comes out to be um, in the normal range then the BMI doesn't tell if uh, the guy has 25 kilograms out of that 80 kgs from fat or just 10 kilograms is fat out of those 80 kgs. So BMI doesn't tell you about how much muscle and how much fat is there in the body of the person. So, so we would like to know a way which can tell it and tell us what the fat percentage is. So that way is body fat percentage. Now what body fat percentage, lean muscle mass, fat mass is, I have talked about in my previous videos. You can search my name along with what you do want to understand on YouTube, you will find my videos on that topic. Okay, so let's take an example uh, on how body fat percentage can give us more precise reading. So let's say there is a person who has 77 kilograms of body fat. His height is 6 feet, uh, uh, which is 1.82 meters approximately. Uh, so his BMI comes out to be 23. Uh, weight divided by height in meter weight in kilograms divided by height in meter square height square so uh, the BMI comes out to be 23 I talked about this in my previous video now I told you that 19 to 23 is a normal BMI range so this guy is in the normal BMI range so you should not be worried about how much fat he is carrying now let's consider that 70 uh, this 77 kgs guy has a body fat percentage of 10 so if he has 10% body fat, his fat mass is 7.7 .7 kgs and his lean muscle mass is 69.3 kgs. Check my previous videos if you don't understand this. Let's consider another case uh, that this uh, guy has 22% body fat. Uh, then the fat mass would be around 17 kgs and lean muscle mass would be around 60 kgs. Okay, so the same guy of 77 kgs um, can have the same BMI because his height and weight are same. He is 30 years old guy, his height is not increasing. Same height, same weight, same guy but has different fat levels in his body. In one case he, has, he is carrying 17 kilograms of body fat, in another case he is carrying around 7.5, 7.7 kilograms of body fat. Now 22% body fat is a relatively uh, bit high body fat percentage. Uh, the normal healthy body fat percentage uh, range is around 12 to 14% a bit or uh, a bit lesser or a bit more can uh, be okay. But when you start going above 20% it is kind of you are going towards the high. Uh, so so this guy can, uh, this guy has a decent uh, reason to lose some fat. But the BMI says he is in the normal range. So why would he lose it? So, uh, and this 23 is uh, in, let's say, uh, this 23 is a uh, standard for one country. There are many countries where 25 uh, as BMI is also considered as normal, which earlier was ar uh, around 27, 28, 29, which used to be considered uh, as normal, which they, um, which they took down to 25. Uh, so the number they took the number down to 25 but even if 25 is considered as normal bmi this guy can still gain six more kilograms of fat and uh, his uh, weight can be 83 kgs and his body fat percentage would go up to around 27 uh, percent 
and still his BMI is going to be 25 which is normal 25 percent is um, relatively high body fat percentage so, uh, so he should definitely he, sh he can think about losing fat but BMI says he's in the normal range so why would he think about losing fat so that this uh, this the reason that uh, the body uh, the BMI doesn't talk about the muscle or fat content in the body uh, is a reason for us to go towards body fat percentage checking body fat percentage uh, so that we know if we need to lose fat or not now the question arises if body fat percentage can be a better measure in some scenarios why is BMI used so much well uh, BMI is so easy to calculate uh, you can just write your uh, weight and height on a paper and you can calculate the BMI if it is more you would uh, get to know okay my BMI is uh, out of range I should uh, lose weight but um, it is uh, not so easy to calculate body fat percentage you have to use that uh, body fat caliber or bioelectrical impedance machines I've talked about how to calculate body fat percentage in my previous videos uh, so uh, it is not so easy to calculate body fat percentage and when you're telling a guy who's really obese or who is obese that please lose weight and he's just not uh, uh, considering his health and eating too much food that sort of guy is not going to be paying too much attention or uh, giving his mind too much load about calculating body fat percentage he is not even worried about his health so much so 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 for those sort of guys you just throw bmi uh, the uh, an easy way in front of them an easy to calculate way in front of them that okay calculate your bmi and if it uh, it is uh, out of range try to lose weight so so uh, bmi is kind of an easy way uh, to tell someone that oh you are getting out of range but uh, if you are a bit concerned about fitness and um, if you really want to see how much fat you are carrying you should you can go uh, to uh, about calculating body fat percentage so this was to tell that in some scenarios um, body fat percentage might to work better than uh, BMI for you uh, if you like this video please like comment and share I'll see you in the next video bye bye